when... Oh, good, you're here. Molly's learning how to count. It's important to know how to count, isn't it, Molly? Okay. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, shut the... Shut the what, Molly? Cookie! You're very silly today, Molly. No. Now try and pay attention. It's one, two, buckle my shoe, three, four, shut the door. Okay? All right, very good. Now where was I? Um, okay. Five, six, pick up. What? An elephant? Molly, you can't pick up an elephant. Can she? Nope, told ya, and neither can I. No, it's sticks. Five, six, pick up sticks. Okay? <laughs> Alrighty, let's try it from the top. This time, Molly, you be the counter. You can do it. That's how you learn. By trying and by doing and finding out. So, come on, you can do it, Molly. What comes first? One. Two, buckle my shoe. Very good. One, two, hmm. Um, hey, how old are you now, Molly? Since your birthday cake had three candles on it? Three, yes! Three! That's it! Yay! Yay for Molly, the amazing counting doll! Yes! Yes! Yes, number fans! The amazing Molly can finally count to three for the very first time! Yay! Give it up for Molly the doll! Wow! Yeah! Well, Molly, that was great. That was a really big stretch for you. A very big stretch. Oh, speaking of stretching, I'd better stretch. On my clock rug. Come on, let's go. See if you can do this. It's fun. Much better. Oh, it's not quite time for recess yet, young lady. We're still playing school, and I'm the teacher. Okay? Now, you know what we need? We need some teaching aids. Yes, things to count. Hey, my abacus. That would be perfect. Well, now, um... No. One sombrero! Hmm. Oh. Ah. Two snowshoes! And three! Aw, one little piggy. Hmm. Too bad we didn't have three little piggies. No, I'm not going to read the three little pigs. We are still in school, and you are learning to count. Now, where is that abacus? Hmm. Oh. 
Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> no. No. One boa. No. Uh, oh. One, two, three scarves. No. Uh, oh. What's this? Oh, my old top. Oh, look, Molly. I love this. Watch it spin. Hey, this would be great to count. Yeah, let's count the spins at the top. One, two, three, four, five, twenty, teen, forty, twelve, one gazillion. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, Molly, I'm very dizzy. Oh, I can't count straight. Dizzy, dizzy me. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Huh. Have you ever been dizzy before, Molly? Oh, well, I love being dizzy. Want to get dizzy with me? Okay. Let's pretend we're spinning tops. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Molly, what do you feel like doing now? Hey, great! Well, that's dizzy. Isn't it fun? <laughs> now, I know we have one of those spinny thingamajigs around here somewhere. Now, where? Um... Nope. Oh! Here we go. Just your size. Look at this. More neat spinny stuff. Hmm. Bet we could make something really neat with this. Hey, we could make an airplane. Want to? Oh, this will be perfect. Here we go. Just like that. Now we attach this. Okay. Here we go. Now, this is your pilot speaking. We are ready for takeoff on Air Comfy's DC Dizzy. Fasten your seatbelts, please. One, two, three, contact. One, two, then comes three. Look at Molly and look at me. Three, four, number five. We can climb and we can dive. Up, up, then go down. Dizzy Dolly and a clown. Fly away up to the sky. Oh, climbing up so very high. Oh, in a big plane, a comfy plane, a big comfy plane. Big plane, a comfy plane, a big comfy plane. Then come seven to the stars and to west round heaven. Seven, eight, next is nine. Great for us because we're really flying. We go up, up, up then go, go down. down. Dizzy Dolly and a clown fly away up to the sky. Oh, climbing up so very high. Oh, in a big plane, a comfy plane, a big comfy plane. Big plane, a comfy plane, a big comfy plane. Uh oh, I think we're gonna crash! Nine, eight, seven, six. While we spin, let's do some tricks. Seven, six, five, and four. Twirl and spin and spin some more. Five, four, three, and two. Around we go, just me and you. Four, three, two, and one. Now we're back on land where we begun. In our big 
big plane, a comfy plane, a big comfy plane. Big plane, a comfy plane, a big comfy plane. A big plane, a comfy plane, a big comfy plane. Big plane, a comfy plane, a big comfy plane. Big plane, a comfy plane, a big comfy plane. Oh yes, Molly! Wanna go flying again? Up, up and away! Oh, Molly, don't you feel well? Oh, poor you. Oh, forget this pilot stuff. I can be your nurse. You need first aid. Hmm. Actually, what you need is a nice, cool, damp cloth on your forehead. That's always good when you're dizzy. So you wait right here. Don't worry, Molly. I'll be your nurse. You can count on me. This will make you feel better, Molly. There. You know what's a really good thing when you're feeling dizzy? Fresh air. Come on, Molly, let's go outside. Come on. Yes, Molly, it's very important to get lots of fresh air for your health. Let's all take some deep breaths together, shall we? And a one. And two. And three. And four. Yeah. Oh, Molly, I'm sorry. Oh, are you still dizzy? Oh, this is getting serious. What will help? Hmm. Well, maybe if you put your head between your knees. Yeah. There you go. Sometimes when you're feeling woozy, you need to get the blood flowing to your head. One, two, three, four. How you doing down there, Molly? Oh, you'll be feeling better in a flash. There you go. Oh, now where was I? Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <sighs> there, how's that? Still dizzy. Oh dear, this dizzy business is getting me in a tizzy. Oh, let's go sit down. <sighs> Poor Molly. Molly's feeling very dizzy today, Snickle Fritz. And I don't know why. Postcard for Lunette the Clown. Postcard for Lunette. Over here. Oh. Here's a postcard. What's wrong, Lunette? Oh, I don't know, Major Bedhead. It's this dizzy business. Yeah, I know what you mean. My agent never returns my calls either. No, I mean Molly. She's been dizzy all day. Especially after our ride on the big comfy plane. Oh, well, maybe we could, uh... No, that wouldn't work. Well, we could try, uh... Oh, let's see. Well, frankly, I have always felt that, uh... No, that wouldn't work either. Uh, we... Postcard, anyone? Thank you. Oh, it's from my Auntie Macassar. Oh, don't look, Molly. Looks kind of dizzy. Ooh, I'll, I'll see what it says. Uh, Dear Lunette, people are always calling me your dizzy aunt, so I thought you might enjoy my recipe to cure the dizzies. Ooh. I'm an expert. It goes like this. 
I was going for a ride in a helicopter. Got so dizzy, called the spin doctor. The spin doctor said there's just one cure when you get dizzy, and that's for sure. Watch someone spin and count to ten, and then you'll be all right again. Give it a spin. Love your Auntie Macassar. Oh, did you hear that, Molly? A cure for the dizzies. Great. Now. Oh, who could we get to spin around for us ten whole times? Hmm, I wonder. Hmm, who can we get to spin around ten whole times? I wonder. I know who. Me! I've got my rollers on, and I'm just learning how to spin. Watch me, Molly. Well, go for it, Bedhead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten! Ooh. 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 <laughs> I'm kind of dizzy, <laughs> but it's kind of fun, <laughs> don't you think? <laughs> Are you still dizzy, Molly? No! Oh, hooray! Oh, thank you for all your help, Major Badhead. Well, you're welcome. Yeah, I think it's time I get back to work. Goodbye, Mollet. Woo. Goodbye, Looney. Goodbye, Fricklesnitz. <laughs> Package for Mr. Gillespie. Package for Mr. Dean. <laughs> <sighs> what a dizzy day. Well, back to the couch, okay, Molly? Oh, bye, Snicky. <laughs> Huh. Well, Molly, I'm sure glad you're over having your dizzy spell. I was starting to get worried about you. Mwah. Hey, I think it's time we had a story, don't you? Here's our storybook, and where are those glasses? Gee, now I feel kind of dizzy. <laughs> Just kidding. There, now I'm ready for the story too. Okay, would you like me to read a story? Oh good, but first you have to get nice and comfy. Are you comfy? Are you comfy, Molly? Okay, good. Now, oh. We need the light on. It's very important to have good light to read the words and to see the pictures. There we go. Ah. Now, let's read this story. This story is called, The Three Little Pigs Went to the Playground. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs, Chico, Rico, and Freeman. Now that they had moved to their nice new brick house, they didn't have to worry anymore about big bad wolves or chinny chin chins or all those house repairs or other boring things like that. No way. Now the three little pigs had much more time for fun and playing and for going to the playground. Let's go, said Rico. I want to play on the swings. Yeah, let's go, said Chico. I'm going to slide down the twister slide. What are you going to play on, Freeman? asked Chico and Rico. The slide? The swing? Nope, I have a different plan, said Freeman, digging out his pail and shovel. So the three little pigs went to the playground. Rico Pig loved to swing, but he had his own special favorite way. It was fun. He would lie on his tummy and twist the ropes of the swing around and around ten whole times. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then, then Rico would let go, and around and around he'd spin, like a top. It was fun. Whee! Woo! Rico would get so dizzy, he would have to lie on the grass and watch the clouds twirl around and around. When all the clouds stopped spinning, Rico would swing again. Hey, Freeman, want to get dizzy with me? No thanks, Rico, said Freeman from the sandbox. I have a different plan. 
Chico Pig loved the twister slide. He would climb up all the stairs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten! And then... Down he would go, around, around, down to the ground. Chico would get so dizzy, he would bump into the monkey bars and the water fountain and almost fall into the sandbox. Silly Piggy! Then, when he could walk straight, he would head right back up the stairs of the twisty slide. Hey, Freeman, want to get dizzy with me? No thanks, Chico, said Freeman, filling his pail. I have a different plan. He had no time for dizzy business. Not Freeman Pig. He liked to dig. He was too busy building castles and roads and a fort, all out of sand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten shovels full of sand would fill up his pail. And his sand tower would get almost as high as the sky. At the end of the day, it was time to go home to their nice brick house. Freeman called to his brothers. Rico, Chico, swoo! Time to go home! Rico took one last turn on the swing. Chico took one last slide down the twister. And those two pigs got so dizzy, they were wobbling and tripping all over the place. Oh, Freeman! What was your plan today, by the way? asked Rico and Chico. Freeman smiled. Oh, just to help you dizzy pigs walk home! And he did. All the way home. The end. <laughs> Those silly pigs. Huh. Well, did you like the story, Molly? Oh, did you like the story? Good, me too. I especially liked the part when Chico would climb the twister stairs. One, two, three, four. Hey, who made this big mess? Me? Oh, I did, didn't I? Well then, I have to clean it up. It's only fair. So, get ready for the 10 second tidy. Ready? Set, go! <sighs> oh, oh, Molly. I've had enough of this dizzy day. <laughs> now, where is that? Here it is, my abacus. Oh, wow, radical, sheep. <laughs> okay, Molly, let's count sheep. Well, toodaloo. <sighs> Here we go. One little lamb, two little lambs, three sheep. And the clown jumped over the moon. <laughs>